guys, what is up? My name is Megan, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe, and welcome to today's video, which is really exciting. It's a special editions book haul. I haven't posted one of these in a while, but if you want to see my other ones, I will leave the playlist. But essentially, I have kind of been weeding out uh, what companies I want to subscribe to, trying out new subscription companies, buying, trading, selling books. So this is like part one because there are more books that I'm going to need to haul very soon and I'm even more excited for those honestly. I just can't wait for them to get here. It should be up as well in the month of May, uh, that video. But in this video we have books from Fairy Loot, Fairy Loot Romanticy, Illumer Crate, Broken Binding, which I tried for the first time, Hello Lovely, Eternal Embers, and there might be something else that I'm missing, cover to cover as well. And if you want to just like navigate through this video to see specific book boxes or books, feel free to do so. I will have these little tabs down below. And if not, let's just hop on in. Starting off with The Broken Binding because it is my newest subscription, I was actually really really lucky to get off I think in March when obviously they started a new series because if you don't know Broken Binding does a bunch of fantasy and now they have a sci-fi subscription where they do full series so every month you pay for one book in the series and eventually you get a completed series of special editions which I think is such an interesting concept and you can skip one series a year that's kind of how their skip policy works and I call it faith, was off the wait list for The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. And this is a fantasy series I have wanted to try for a really long time, but I once had like a really beat up copy and I was like, I'm not gonna read this. And then I unhauled it like years and years ago. And then I started reading more fantasy and got introduced to like higher fantasy. And it doesn't scare me as much and then I regretted selling my like two dollar copy and then I got off the wait list for this and this basically has the regular cover as you can see um, as the dust jacket but the rest is where the customizations lay first thing and my definitely my favorite thing is the sprayed edges I love the color palette and these sprayed edges might be like the best quality sprayed edges. I've seen they are stenciled all around and honestly it just there's no like white lines. Everything is stuck together. The page quality of this is phenomenal and it's just so far so stunning and these books come like wrapped like a like a gift. Obsessed. And this is the beautiful and it's very reflective hardcover that says the lies of Locke Lamora and it's kind of like a two-sided picture and it is as such on the back but then the person that was on the bottom is on the top I think you get what I'm saying so this is what the inside looks like <clears throat> and we have art on the end pages as well which their art is absolutely beautiful and it feels very fantasy if that can like say anything to you. I am part of tier two so I don't have a signed copy of the book but it also does come with a ribbon and honestly not the most costly subscription considering that this comes from the UK and they actually ship with Royal Mail instead of like DHL which is a hundred times better for us Canadians at least in my opinion and it also comes with a little bookmark. Obviously I'm filming this a lot later than March so I will be getting the April book hopefully soon and I already did pay for the May book so I have the series completed and I cannot wait to try out more from The Broken Binding. Let's move on to Fairy Loot because there's a lot. First from Fairy Loot is a book I actually did a full unboxing and review for on my channel so if you want more of my thoughts on the April Romanticy book which was the first Romanticy in the Fairy Loot subscription. They did Lore of the Wild with the beautiful stenciled edges and my copy actually and thank you to the subscriber who mentioned this or viewer doesn't mean you're subscribed to me. Um, also just I need to show this again. My copy has missing foil on the first end pages so if your copy is missing foil there's supposed to be foil on there uh, and basically I got a refund for this because they did not have any replacements which is kind of shocking um, 
but it is what it is at least i did get a refund for this so yeah if you want my full thoughts on this do check out that video i think um i did a pretty good job of explaining my initial feelings th for this book and the subscription in itself then another book which this is very confusing to me. I think Fairy Loot is sort of struggling at this moment in time. We have Iron Flame, which I did order Iron Flame. That's not what this confusion is about. I received another copy of Iron Flame, I believe, like, last week. And it had been misprinted, so the book was printed upside down. So the spine was not, like, the essential edges were, like, flipped. And the, like, entire thing was misprinted. So... Fairy Loot was like, it's fine, we'll send you another copy. It usually takes around 30 days for the book to leave the warehouse and make its way to you. I'm in Canada, the warehouse is in the US. This clearly, at least in my opinion, did not come from that warehouse or that email. So I'm like, did they send me two copies of Iron Flame and I'm, am I going to get a third one? Am I not going to get fourth wing and they accidentally sent me to Iron Flames because I also got an email saying my fourth wing should be on its way to me soon? I have no idea what's going on. However, I will say if I get a third Iron Flame, that will be a giveaway. Um, and there's a giveaway coming soon for special editions. Just throwing that out there, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. But I did get my copy of Iron Flame with these beautiful stenciled edges. I have yet to read this series and I have collected and sold so many of these editions because I can't make up my mind but I do think Fairy Loot has taken the cake and are my favorite so these I will be keeping. This is the beautiful foiled hardcover. We have these and pages which are the same as the Waterstones and pages just saying if you guys didn't know. And the real highlight for me and why I wanted these specifically is because I am obsessed with the reverse dust jackets that Fairy Loot have made. I just think that the aesthetic of these are going to be so beautiful on my shelves. I love that we can see like the dragons and the main characters all in one and they just look so badass. So I'm all here for it. I don't know how much I'm going to love Iron Flame because reviews have been mixed. Everybody seems to love Fourth Wing, but Iron Flame, not so much. So, we shall see when I eventually get to these. I also have Tempest of Tea, which is part of the subscription itself. It wasn't like a pre-order that you can do from here. This was, I think, the March book that came in very late. Again, they were struggling with shipping. I think it was the adult book that was the, the issue. I have sold that. I was not interested and I hated the way it looked, but I did keep Tempest of Tea, which I really love the alternate cover they did for this. The inside flaps also have really beautiful like gold detailing like this. The naked hardback is all foiled as well. This is beautiful and this is what I expect from like a special edition so I was very happy. Not the biggest biggest fan of these sprayed edges but I don't hate them and I do think they don't have that weird white lining so that's always a win. And then we have beautiful character art on the end pages. Is this signed? I didn't even check if this was signed. I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't appear to be signed. So, yeah, really happy with this. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a while, but I was patient and waited for my Fairy Loot edition. Then I have an edition of Sing Me to Sleep from Fairy Loot that I purchased off Facebook Marketplace for a very, very cheap price. I am obsessed with the naked hardback of this. It's like printed on and I just, I love the vibes. I also really like the detailing of the sprayed edges, but this one is a little bit less quality. Like there's more lines through it. I feel like, I don't know if it's the material. I don't really know what causes that or if it's like the page or whatever, but these are the beautiful, beautiful, and pages and as I say in pretty much every video I am looking for like water themed pirate themed boat 
whatever you want to call them books and seeing me to sleep is kind of the vibe i'm looking for so i am like looking for the ultimate five stars is this gonna be it i don't know i know a lot of the re readers booktubers i follow gave this five stars so i am crossing my fingers and legs we then have this massive box that came in this week right on time for this video and that is the Fortuna Sworn series, which I have not read, but I think I'm going to love. And so I bit the bullet and purchased these last year when they went on sale. And I just put these out of order. So, first book. Ugh, the cover for these. Like, look at this. And I love the detailing. And here are the spines, and all the spines line up like this. Again, it's focusing on me, but it's beautiful. So much more than me, so please, camera, focus on the books. And these are the spade edges. Oh, these books are honestly stunning. This is the naked hardcover. Again, it has the same kind of spine beautiful character art and I don't know if these are yeah they are also signed which is really cool this one is I believe hand signed and I'm thinking the others might be digitally signed I'm not sure this is also like very thin in comparison to the rest of the series so this is book two which is a restless slumber again this character is beautiful. We have a different kind of ombre on the spine, like this, and then again with beautiful stenciled edges. The books are very like, similar looking, which I think, for once, is really nice. We have the naked hardback, as well as the character art which is the same on both sides so I don't know why I'm showing you again oh I think these are, are all hand side actually and I forgot to mention this is like top and bottom are also stenciled this is my little happy dance because I'm so happy with these things are gonna look beautiful on the shelves and hopefully I like them when I read them because if not I'm gonna be sad then we have book three, which again is more chunky, and it is Deadly Dreams. With the matching spine, stenciled edges again. And I like how like some of them are gold, some of them are silver, so it really breaks it up. This is Again, you see how everything matches but are slightly different with the character art. And again, it is signed. And the chunkiest... Look at this! I don't even know how many pages it... <gasps> it's over 700 pages. Dear Lord. Beautiful though. Like, look at this. She is stunning. which is a beautiful nightmares. I'm gonna have nightmares how big this book is. And the beautiful character art. This might be, these things to get read this year, maybe even this summer. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that could be cool. Is this more of a fall series? I don't really know. We'll go with the vibes. We're all about vibes here. See how cool this, these look all lined together? Yes, you do. You see me, right? And that was everything with Fairy Loot. I think I... Oh, yeah! Let me show you another special edition series that, like, I can't believe I forgot to tell you about. You guys. This looks like nothing to you, does it? <laughs> I have finally in my hands the Stocking Jack the Ripper books from Bookish Box, and I got them one because... Hi, if you're new here, my name is Megan, and Stocking Jack the Ripper is my favorite series of all time. I got them for the art 
on the alternate like dust jackets well alternate like reversible dust jackets because these are stunning i also really like the like naked hardbacks of these but the real reason is honestly just to see audrey rose and thomas portrayed on four different books because they are my babies and they will be so forever so we have this one right here with like the design on the back and I'm not taking these apart they're going straight back on my shelves but I just wanted to show you guys because I feel like nobody shows these sides of the books because like they don't have the name on the spine people don't display them that way but I do not care every time I'm in my office look at them I beg you to look Every time I'm in, my, I'm in my office, I get to see my babies. And they all have, like, stenciled edges that do match better with the actual, like, dash jackets they made for them. Um, but I don't care. I will love these until the day that I perish. I'm obsessed. It took a while for me to get them, though. I ordered them on Black Friday, and it took, like, two or three months. I mean, we're already in stock in their warehouse, so no tea, no shade, but a little bit of tea, a little bit of shade. Moving on to Illuminate, which is another book I got secondhand. It is The Principle of Moments. It's still in its wrapping, so let's let's unwrap. There you go. Much better. I actually got this for less than the retail price of the actual book on Facebook. I love the sprayed edges with the little stars. This is kind of like a sci-fi fantasy it has a quote on the naked hardback with really cool and papers I skipped because when I was a subscriber of Lumicrate I had skipped this and then I was like oh like should I have skipped and then I saw this for like ten dollars USD and I was like bet I made the right choice so it's part of my collection. I'm hoping to enjoy it. If not, this could also be an option for a giveaway. Moving on to more of the romance books. I have two books from cover to cover. I have their January book, which is The Third Baseman by Lulu Moore, which looks like this. This book is a little bit more tiny. And when I say a little bit more, I mean a little bit more. Like a lot more tiny than a regular hardback, which I was very surprised about. This is a romance book. It is not sci-fi. I have not read this yet, so I'm not really sure I get the, like, space theme. It's also signed. Um, is this my favorite edition of a book? No. However, I was interested in the book, so I'm keeping it because I want to read it, and, like, maybe I'll get the space theme and then I'll be, like, obsessed with this. But when I saw this, I was a little, like, perplexed, because I know the main character's name is... Jupiter but like if that's the only space related thing I'm not sure why we went that way but all things in time and then I have the Fe February book which these were both like the spotlight books and this is a more normal size this is the summer we fell by Elizabeth O'Rourke and I actually really like this edition and these stenciled edges look like this and we have like end paper art like this which I think is cool and is this also signed it is both are romances I don't really know what they are about but I've heard a lot of the summer we fell and just Elizabeth O'Rourke in general so I'm really excited for this however I do want to let you guys know I have not continued my subscription with cover to cover um and i will have a video explaining which subscription box i unsubscribed to recently and why but this is one of them that kind of doesn't exist <laughs> in my life anymore and so we will rarely see editions from cover to cover next we have eternal embers i had tried one of the mystery boxes in hopes of getting some of the books i was sad i missed out on in the last like year or so uh, first book I got was Real by Kennedy Ryan. I don't hate the cover for this, actually. It's fine. However, not super interested in this. I, I don't love Kennedy Ryan, and, like, please don't throw rocks at me, but the first book I read by her had cheating in it, 
and I hate cheating in books and like when we're supposed to root for a main character it just it doesn't make sense to me it's not a trope I enjoy and so I was kind of put off by her however everybody and their mom seems to love this book so I might give it a shot if not again will either be something I try to sell or give away but I want to like give it a try and kind of do like maybe a second chance on these authors that I'm like iffy about because this is dual perspective I don't think this has a cheating trope in it so we might be on the safer side and then a book I'm more excited I got is The Bully by Sophie Lark and this is the edition that they made which is honestly stunning it is hand signed as well if you can the reflection is terrible there you go and this is like a very beautiful edition I really like the aesthetic of this I don't know if they're planning on doing more but like just the size of the font and the overall floppiness to this is great and this one is one I do think I'm going to end up keeping so this mystery box was like 50 50 but overall not mad about it let's end this ridiculously long haul with hello lovely where I have two boxes well two books that came in boxes you catch my drift. These are both trope of the month books. One of them was Sinful. I think this was the February book and this in of itself sounds good. I, I'm not sure if this is like mafia or yeah criminal organization kind of book which is up my alley. I hate I'm sorry to say this. I, I love Hello Lovely Box. Hate what they did with this cover. Everybody is trying to sell their copy of this to get back a portion of the money that they paid for it. It's all over on Facebook Marketplace and nobody wants to buy it, which honestly, kind of get. I'm still interested in the story. We'll still read it. I'm not, I'm shallow, but not that shallow when it comes to books. But like, why? I don't know. And this month's trope of the month actually just got here. It came with a sticker that I'm for sure gonna use. It says, in my small town romance era, which, yes please. And this book is way more up my alley when it comes to the aesthetic. Let me unwrap it, I'll be right back. The book for April was All I Want by Jay Daniels. I really like this collage type book and it feels very like summer to me. It feels like when I was in high school and made all these collages and had like all these different backgrounds on my phone and my computer. Those are the vibes and I'm here for it. Is this signed? It is signed, I believe. Which again with the lighting it's hard but this is obviously a small town romance between two main characters it is dual perspective and I don't know if it's a second chance romance I think it also is or like something happened between our two main characters our f female main character states her heart is like broken and like the main boy character is a heartbreaker and he qualifies her as a man eater and I'm not really sure where this is gonna go because it looks so happy and like bright and woohoo but I think this might be sad because the last line is a love for people who have hope and I have none I'm on that train but like do you understand the difference in aesthetics and I mean that's what this book box is about it's about making you discover a bunch of different tropes and authors so I'm like, I'm, I'm here for it, but this is definitely more of my alley as a reader and book buyer. So those were all the books. And as I said, more videos like these are coming. And like with books, I'm over the moon to have found books I've been on the hunt for for little months, if not a year at this point. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which of these books was your favorite in the haul and I'll see you very soon with another video. Also, if you have nothing, comment, comment a wave emoji to let me know you made it this far. Bye guys, happy reading.